If the calculated center of gravity is found to be out of limits for any part of the flight, it follows that unless the problem is resolved, the aeroplane must not be allowed to depart. To correct the center of gravity, the load can be adjusted in one of two ways, either by repositioning the mass already on board, such as passengers or freight, or by adding or removing mass. We will look at resolving the out-of-limits center of gravity problem by using a formula for repositioning of load. Firstly, let letter big M represent the mass of the aeroplane. Now, let CC represent the distance the center of gravity needs to move to come within limits. Let the letter little m represent the mass to be moved. In this case, the mass would have to be moved from the forward hold A to the aft hold B because the center of gravity has to move in a rearward direction. Now let letter D represent the distance the mass M has to move from one cargo hold to the other, in this case from front to rear. The mass to be moved, little m, multiplied by the distance it moves, d, is equal to the total aeroplane mass, big M, multiplied by the distance the center of gravity moves, cc. This is expressed as a formula, m times d equals m times cc. Now we will look at a practical example using the formula to find out how much mass must be moved to bring the center of gravity into limits. In the example on screen, the center of gravity is forward of limits by 0.05 of a meter and it is required to find out how much mass, m, must be moved from hold A to hold B to bring the center of gravity onto the forward limit, 0.5 meters aft of datum. The first step is to write down the formula, m times d equals m times cc, and transpose the formula to solve for m. Use our numbers in the formula for big M, cc, and d. Solve for little m, which equates to a mass of 50 kilograms, being the mass to be moved from hold A to hold B to bring the center of gravity onto the forward limit of 0.5 meters aft of datum. Let us look at another example using moving mass to bring an out of limit center of gravity back into limits. In this example, the mass to be moved is known and the question asks what distance the mass has to move from forward to aft to bring the center of gravity onto the forward limit. The first thing is to establish the change of center of gravity, cc, required to bring it onto the forward limit. The value of cc is obtained by subtracting the existing center of gravity distance from datum from the forward limit distance from datum. We can now apply the formula for moving mass. m times d equals m times cc. Transpose for the unknown distance the mass is to be moved, d, before entering the known data. Enter the known data for aeroplane mass, m, change of center of gravity, cc, and mass to be moved, m. Having entered the data, we can now solve for the distance the mass has to move, d, to bring the center of gravity onto the forward limit, which equates to 360 inches. In this lesson, we have resolved the problem of bringing an out-of-limit center of gravity back into limits by using the formula little m times d equals big M times cc. This involves moving a mass internally within the aeroplane.
the mass is moved either forward or aft to another position, which correspondingly results in a shift in the centre of gravity. The two worked examples will enable you to resolve any questions involving the moving of mass to change the centre of gravity.